as some of the most famous and influential people nowadays, better known than some Hollywood stars. And they're making a lot of money, adding more than £2 billion to the UK's economy last year. Daniel Middleton, better known online as Dan TDM, is one of Britain's most successful YouTubers who's famous for video game commentaries. The 31-year-old has posted thousands of videos across three separate YouTube channels, which have reached more than 34 million subscribers. Overall, he has clocked up more than 21 billion views. Huge numbers. He doesn't often do interviews, but our culture editor, Katie Razzle, got to meet him. Hey guys, Danny and welcome back. I've been playing video games ever since I was young. The views were just ridiculous. We are going to be doing the Diamond Minecart Experiment. We hit the most viewed channel on the entire site. I still look back and I'm just like, that's, that's crazy. Get in there. At one point, Dan TDM was the most watched YouTuber in the world. For more than a decade, he's made videos about gaming from his house that turned a boy from Aldershot into one of Britain's most successful and richest YouTubers. Welcome back to Minecraft Legends. <laughs> Dan Middleton, his real name, turned his love of Minecraft into a cultural brand, with a reported net worth greater than many footballers. He's released books and lent his voice to Disney movies. I'm your friendly eBay alert messenger. At one stage, his channel was getting 400 million hits every month. I was really shy at school. Like, you wouldn't catch me doing anything like this. A lot of YouTubers are naturally introverted, but very creative. But as you can see, it's set up like a, like a movie. Like, there's camera angles. What did you think when you realised how much money could be made from this? I couldn't really believe it. I mean, I wasn't really using it because I was making videos. I was in a lucky position where I started it at the right time. YouTube just grew exponentially over that time, so a platform with that many eyes on it is going to, is going to make money. <laughs> Dan was his own production house, making two videos every day. With anything, when it's growing, it gets a little bit addictive. You're like, oh, I can keep uploading and then try out new things, see if they work, see if they don't. Can you walk out the door and not be recognised, or are you somebody who gets recognised and has to wear a hat? I mean, it literally happens every day. I have made a lot of videos, a lot of them. Age 31, this year, Dan TDM announced a scaling back from making videos. He's been open about struggling with depression after becoming a parent during the pandemic. I think if you're making content at that rate, whether it's YouTube, even if you're like a musician or a playwright, you're a writer, if you're doing something every day, you're going to burn out at some point and need a break. Do you feel like you're taken seriously as a creative? It did take a long time because people thought, oh, they see the 20 minute video, you just record it for 20 minutes, uploaded it, that's it. But now I think there is that respect there. If you're successful on the platform, you're doing something right, you are creative, or you're just good at what you do. Dan sells out arenas, a British success story, at a time when the internet has become more and more central to our lives. Katie Razzle, BBC News. We're going back to entertainment from the past now. Have a look at this. 50 years ago tomorrow, the Wigan Casino nightclub hosted its first ever Northern Soul all-nighter. And it...